I think it's so important for people to actually understand how their brain works so they can understand that it truly is an addiction. The thought patterns, the way that they're behaving is, it's just a habit. And it's not a habit that serves them. And so when they learn how that, that works in the brain, in the body, um, then they can start to go, oh, wow, that's actually not the most productive use of my time. That, you know, 47% of the day my mind is wandering and I'm distracted because of that multitasking. And when they realize when I focus and when I actually use that part of my brain, I can get things done faster and, and better. You know, for folks, I tell them, maybe it's like two minutes every morning where you're just trying a concentration practice and then you're trying to write down those daily deltas and focus on those. And it's baby steps, baby steps. I thought, you know what? I'm probably gonna get fired in this particular sales role. I'm gonna bring in a mindfulness program and let's see what happens. So I brought in the program. We went from 64% of plan to 94%. I had people who were developing a skill set in areas that I had been struggling with them for a long time. And so the company took notice of these results and they asked me to help roll out a global program. And so long story short, had so much fun doing that, saw so many positive results that decided to quit my job and start my own company doing that. And in the sales industry, we have twice the rate of turnover than the entire workforce combined. Every day, we get about 270 newspapers worth of data a day. On average, we track our phones 150 times a day. We are distracted for 47% of the day. People who practice mindfulness before they perform, they perform better. So who, who is practicing mindfulness right now? Mindfulness allows me to have access to what's inside of me before I go to do something that's outside. And uh, something that I used to do uh, when I was young, I, I did a lot of mountaineering and rock climbing. And I was always concerned that I didn't know myself well enough to do this safely and that to do it with somebody else seemed particularly irresponsible if I didn't know you know, where I was coming from. And it became a, sort of a standard part of staying alive in that particular game was to know what's inside before you bring it outside. Because in that game, you screw up, you die. 